Okay, the very, very last part. Um, and this is another sort of exam question that you'll get, but this is doing it in reverse. A compound has the empirical formula CH2O. What is the molecular mass of this compound? Boys. Okay, so what is the mass of this compound? So, one carbon, so that's 1 times 12. You can do this in a grid if you like, uh, just like we did in the previous video. And we've got two hydrogens, so that's 2 times 1. Oh, we should put an addition in there so we know we're not timesing. And 1 oxygen, which is 1 times 16. That's 12 plus 2 plus 16, which is 30. Again, you can do this on a calculator if you want. The actual compound has a molecular mass, an MR, of 180. What is the molecular formula? Okay, so this time we need to find out the ratio. Instead of dividing it down um, to find out what we've got, we need to find out what we need to multiply this up by. So, how many 30s go into 180? And we do that sum and we quickly realise we have six lots of 30 that go into 180. So I'm going to have to multiply it all up by six. So one carbon multiplied by six is six carbons. Two hydrogens multiplied by six is 12 hydrogens. And one oxygen multiplied by six is six oxygens and that gives us the answer C6H12O6 which you'll remember is glucose and really important when you are doing all your photosynthesis and respiration stuff and that's the one that we actually did all the way back at the beginning of the lesson and we took it down to the C2CH2O. Okay if there are any more questions about any of this please do feel free to get in touch with me um, and hopefully you can now have an attempt at the questions that have been sent to you. Thank you and see you again later for another lesson.